Hey guys, welcome to Advices Media, and here we have Jono, who is going to help us with the Ubuntu for smartphones, yeah. which is a pretty new OS, and he's going to give us a very good demo of all the features which come onto this. So, absolutely. So this is the this is Ubuntu for phones. Um, just to give you a bit of backstory, um, we've been working for quite some time now on a converged strategy, and the goal here is that we want to build an ubiquitous operating system that runs across. Um, basically any device that you're going to own. So we started this out back in 2004, we released Ubuntu 4 for the, for, uh, for the desktop, exactly. and it quickly became the most popular desktop Linux. We then released Ubuntu for the cloud, it's the most popular OS in the cloud. And then we started working on devices. We have Ubuntu for, for the TV, uh, Ubuntu for Android, where you can boot a full Ubuntu desktop from an Android phone. And then on, the Jan on January the 2nd, we, we, we launched the Ubuntu phone. So let me show you how it works. So this is uh, this is a Google. This is a Nexus. Uh, a, a Nexus. Uh, the Samsung Nexus. This is the Samsung okay. Nexus phone. Okay. Um, now part of the goal here was to build a, 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 an interface that doesn't require any hardware buttons. All you really want is screen, and that's the goal here. So when you switch it on, the only button you really need is a power button. You see the welcome screen, and this is not a lock screen. Okay. Lock screens are this artificial barrier between you and your content and a big a, a big um, a core focus of what we're trying to do with with Ubuntu is to provide a very personalized um, operating system experience for you in many cases with an OS people have to go and if you want to access your music you have to load your music player if you want to access your videos you have to load your video player if you want to find your applications you have to load an app store we, we kind of did away with a lot of that in the Ubuntu firm so you see the welcome screen this is basically a reflection of you. So this is, this is um, it tells you how many tweets you've received, how many new mails you've got, or how many missed calls, that kind of stuff. But this is actually an artist representation as well. This changes depending on who's using the phone. So your welcome screen will be quite different to mine as an example. Now the way we've done this is we've hot-rodded each of, the, each of the, the sides of the screen with different functions. So for example, if I slide from the left, you can see there's, there's the launcher. This is your list of favorite applications that you, these are the applications that you're going to be commonly using. So most people tend to use like three to five applications, their web browser, their email, their social media, probably Angry Birds as well. Um, so the idea is that you swipe from the left and you've got quick access to that. Now at the bottom we've also got this button here. This takes us home. And home is where we, where, where we find an aggregation of lots of different types of content that is, that's specific to you. Again, we don't have to go to an application. It's built right into the, de in, in, into the core user interface of the phone. So we see the most frequently used apps, any missed calls that we might have had, new film releases that relate to the films that I'm interested in. And importantly, this content will be tuned based upon how you use the phone. So if, you, if you're a big comedy fan, you'll see comedy film recommendations as an so example. it's more personalized? Yeah, very much so. Okay. Um, obviously, music as well. Uh, some featured stores that you might want to look at. So, so this, is, this is how the home screen looks. If we then slide over here, we can, see, um, we can see a similar kind of layout, but for apps. These are the running apps that we've got going, frequently used apps, less frequent but installed apps, and then we have apps that are available for download as well. What's cool about this is we could search at the top, so for, like, for example, I could search for Angry Birds, and it would show me all app, all app matches that relate to my search term, and I could install it right from here. I wouldn't even have to go to an app store. So it's, so it's again, it's built right into the, into the phone itself. So, so we have apps and we have videos. But you would obviously have an app system somewhere. Yeah. So we will provide an app store where you can read ratings and reviews and that kind of stuff. And there will also be some paid applications through the developers? Yes. Yeah. People will be able to sell applications in the same way they can sell them on the Ubuntu desktop right now. Right. Um, the goal here is that if you know the app that you want, you can get it really quickly. If you want to browse, then you can go to the app, app store. Right. So, so, that, so I showed you the left side of things. Um, now, let me show you the people. So, obviously, phones are just implicitly social devices. You, unfortunately, these days, we don't tend to make as many phone calls as we used to. We tend to just text people and, uh, and email people. But typically, you're going to want to um, typically you're going to want to talk. You're going to want to text. You're going to want to integrate interact with people on instant messaging and social networks. And this is basically how it works with people. So we can see a list of people here. 
Um, and so, for example, if I if I go to Florian, you can see that we have um, we, we have his most recent Facebook post that is on there. And what this is is we've worked really hard to integrate web apps neatly into the desktop. Like I mentioned, I think I mentioned earlier on, typically web apps live in a browser tab. And so isn't this something similar to the People's Hub available on the Windows Phone 8 devices? It's, yeah, it's kind of similar. It's kind yeah. of similar feature. And, and the goal here is that, you know... Everything is integrated properly. Everything's integrated, but... So, for example, I can tap this, and then I can go and respond directly to, go and respond directly to Florian. And we have at the top, we have a messages view. And this shows you all of your messages, whether it's instant messaging, email, Facebook, whatever it might be, all in one place. It's not the notifications area, it's no. for the messaging part. Yeah, okay. exactly. So it's, this is the messaging menu. Um, so that's how the, the web apps integrate. But then, of course, we have um, native apps as well. So if you slide from the left, I'm going to load the gallery. Okay. So this is a native app that's running on the phone. Um, and here you can see, uh, you can see my pictures and videos are broken down on a day-by-day -day basis. Um, it's, it's, it's nice and simple. We can slide left and right to see our pictures. An important thing here is that we've worked really hard to make sure that you're focusing on content. There's too many, you know, we don't have a lot of, scr uh, of screen real estate on a phone. We don't want to clutter out with buttons and scroll bars and widgets and drop down boxes and whatever else. So we've really focused on getting as much, as much space on the content as possible. So. I mentioned earlier on the left, the left side loads your applications. If I load, uh, let's say I load this picture, the bottom side is where you can access buttons that relate to that specific application. So for example, I can click share here and then I could share that picture on Facebook really easily. Um, now one of the problems that we've seen increasingly in, in, the, in the mobile phone space is it's really hard to configure and set up your phone. Let's say you want to change a setting. You've got to go to the settings. You usually, have to go to the settings application. Exactly. You've got to navigate through all the pages. You've got to find the right setting. You've got to change it. It's often really confusing. In Ubuntu, we have on the top bar here uh, the most commonly used notifications, so we, uh, or, or indicators rather. So there's a, there's an indicator for your networking, whether you're connected to a network, um, for your audio. There'll be one for Bluetooth devices. If we want to configure these things, we just slide down from the top, and then we can slide left and right. So, for example, I can configure the date and time there, or I can move right to networks. I can co configure my network there. So these are the most commonly used things that people need to, to, to tweak on their phones. And it's, again, you don't have to get out of your, you don't have to move out of your, your application to do that. Well, that would actually save a lot of time. Yeah. You can obviously move, skip from different settings right away from the top. Exactly. Okay. And then the right side, I mentioned left side is for loading your applications. Bottom, so bottom edge is, uh, yeah, editing your application. Top edge is for settings. The right edge is for multitasking. So this is how you can flick between different apps that are open. So it's, this is almost like Alt-Tab. It's just really quick and easy to flick between your applications. If you want to get back to your home screen, just flick left to right, and then we're there. And that's how the phone works. That was a great demo. Like, I'm just, it's mind-blowing actually seeing all the features coming out here. Thank you. So the thing is like, when do you expect, do you actually expect manufacturers to release phones without an OS installed onto it? The goal here is we, we want to work with manufacturer, handset manufacturers and operators to ship a phone pre-installed with Ubuntu phone. Any positive note on that end? Any good deals going on on that? Yeah, we've had a tremendous amount of interest. Uh, yeah, there's, ever since we launched, we announced this, there's been a huge amount of interest. Um, a lot of excitement about it. People think it's a beautiful product. Now is a great time. The, the mobile industry turns around about once every three to five years. Like three to five years ago, it was all Blackberry and Palm. That's all changed. Um, so, you know, so, yeah, so this. Yeah, there's a good opportunity. I mean, from what I've seen, pe people people don't love their Android phones. They accept them for what they are. And there's an opportunity. I think Ubuntu is a, a beautiful OS. Um, it's got a long heritage of being a very open platform. Um, so we could have the best of best of both worlds. Sure. Thanks, Juno. Thank thanks you. for a great demo. Thank you. Thank you.
So this was a quick demo of the Ubuntu for smartphones. Stay tuned on Advices Media for more.